Um, I had a pretty good childhood. Um, I played soccer, I did art. Uh, I was class president in high school, captain of the soccer team. Um, toward the end of high school, my friends had started getting into drugs. I was kind of against it at the time. I was just drinking. Um, my freshman year of college, I started smoking, uh, doing coke, and doing heroin. Um, so somewhere in around October, uh, my friends had started maybe a month or two before, and they were shooting up. And they invited me over, and I came over, and I wanted to experiment. Typically, when someone starts using, you say, oh, I'll do it once a week. Then you go, oh, I'll do it twice a week. And then you're doing it every other day. And by the time you're doing it every other day, you have a physical dependency on it. It became a couple times a week thing, if not daily. And I started going through withdrawals. Um, that continued for the next few years, actually. And in between that involved a lot of petty crimes to fuel my addiction, lying to friends, to family, manipulating people to benefit me and to get my drug of choice, which was heroin. When you're left with, with no family, no friends, you turn to whoever you can that will accept you, and in this case, it's the people that you're using with. Um, for me, you know, some of these people were my friends, but most of them, you know, if, the, if you don't have money, they don't talk to you. That's the way it works. Drugs are deceptive in that way. They, they show you the good, but they don't show you the bad until later. Addiction is, it's like a, it's like a black hole where you just become this like negative energy floating around and you suck up any negative energy around you. You're attracting the worst kinds of people. You're doing the worst kinds of things just for this five minute fix that you have. And as soon as that's over, you're, on, you're chasing the next one. I had gotten out of jail and that next day was the day before my 25th birthday and I overdosed. Uh, my mom found me in my room. Uh, she only found me because it was a snow day and she had a one hour delay from work. Um, so they found me. I had a pulmonary embolism. Your lungs, your lungs fill up with blood. Uh, so I was pretty much dead. Uh, I was in a coma for four days and they brought me out of the coma and here I am.